A high-stakes standoff between Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of the notorious Wagner Private Mercenary Group, and the Russian military is rapidly escalating. In a bold move, Prigozhin has announced that his Wagner fighters have crossed the border from Ukraine into Russia and are prepared to confront Moscow's military head-on. Russia's FSB security service responded by initiating a criminal case against Prigozhin, urging the Wagner forces to disregard his orders and arrest him. Prigozhin, once an ally of Putin, has engaged in a bitter feud with Moscow in recent months, while his criticism of the Defense Ministry's leadership gained attention and seemingly enjoyed immunity. In a recently recorded audio message shared on Telegram, Prigozhin confirmed that his fighters had entered the city of Rostov in southern Russia, determined to remove any obstacles in their path. We are in the штабе, 7 часов 30 минут утра, под контролем военные объекты Ростова, в том числе. Footage appearing on social media has claimed to show Russian troops in the area of Rostov too. Prigozhin accused Russia's military leadership of a devastating air strike that resulted in the deaths of numerous Wagner troops. He pledged to hold those responsible accountable for their actions. В пятницу вечером в социальных сетях от имени Евгения Пригожина стала активно распространяться информация о том, что вооруженные силы России якобы нанесли удар по тыловым частям ЧВК Вагнер. Кроме того, прозвучали призывы разобраться с руководством Министерства обороны. Despite denying any intention to stage a military coup, a series of intense audio messages, albeit unverified, suggested that Prigozhin's militia, comprising of around 25,000 fighters, had set their sights on toppling the leadership of Russia's defense ministry in Moscow. Это не военный переворот. Это марш справедливости. Наши действия никак не мешают войскам. Нас 25,000, и мы идем разбираться, почему в стране творится беспредел. 25,000 ожидает как тактический резерв, а стратегический резерв – это вся армия и вся страна. Все, кто хочет, присоединяйтесь. Надо заканчивать с этим безобразием. The rapidly escalating tensions prompted heightened security measures across government buildings, transportation hubs and critical locations in Moscow. General Sergei Sorovkin, deputy commander of Russia's Ukraine campaign, made a direct appeal to the Wagner fighters himself in a video message. This standoff shrouded in uncertainty still presents the most significant domestic crisis for President Putin since the initial deployment of Russian troops to Ukraine last year. Делают это героически. Знаю, сегодня еще раз ночью говорил с командующими всех направлений. Обращаюсь и к тем, кого обманом или угрозами втянули в преступную авантюру, толкнули на путь тяжкого преступления вооруженного мятежа. Meanwhile, in Kyiv, Ukrainian officials revealed that their counteroffensive against Russia's invasion has yet to reach its full strength, further adding to Vladimir Putin's woes. With Ukraine's recent gains on the battlefield marking their first substantial progress in seven months, the focus now shifts to breaking through Russia's meticulously prepared defense lines fortified over the last few months. As tensions continue to escalate and the situation remains highly volatile, both sides are on high alert. Thank <laughs> you.